My name is Jean Mensa. I'm the Executive Director of the Institute of Economic Affairs in Ghana. Basically, you know, the IEA believes that those who seek to govern must subject themselves to probing questions from the electorate to ensure that they understand their concerns and have the capacity to address them. And this has been the background of the de debates, the presidential debates that we have organized in Ghana since 2000, since the year 2000. We have since 2000 organized three other debates and we've gone from incumbent governments not participating to the sitting government or the sitting president participating. The debates have introduced an issue-based campaign into our electoral cycle and have minimized politics based on personalities and acrimony. Indeed, it has enabled the electorate to make an informed choice as to the best candidates to govern them in the sense that the debates focus on issues, on some of the pertinent issues that are of concern to the Ghanaian. And being a think tank, we have worked, we continue to work on those key policy issues year in, year out, and we are very conversant with the key challenges that our country, conf that confronts our country. And so we focused more on issues to do with the economy, how candidates would manage the economy, how they can transform our economies from you know, being more export-based to more manufacturing and industrialized economies. How candidates intend to provide citizens with access to education, to health care, you know, issues to do with safety and security, issues to do with the management of our natural resources for development and for the betterment of our people. And that, that's been the focus of our debates. Indeed, the debates have proved very useful and have enabled, as I mentioned, the citizens to make an informed choice. Based on research that we do and questions that we receive from, we receive from broad mass institutions, we try to synthesize them and include them on areas of the economy, good governance, questions also based on social issues and so on, and try to put out or ask candidates some of the most, the questions that are of most concern to, you know, to the citizens. Well, in the past, we didn't have platforms of accountability, and the presidential debates have introduced that. In the past, what we had was the situation where candidates would mount, you know, a platform at a rally ground and basically promise unrealistic you know, things to the citizen. Beyond the debates, what we do is to transcribe the debates, particularly the questions and that, were, that were posed to the winning candidate. And we call this a social contract with the people of Ghana. We produce these into very simple booklets, easy to read booklets, and disseminate them nationwide, and engage and work with our media to hold the candidates to account. And we've been used, it's, this has proved useful. And a typical example was when the candidate or the ruling, or the candidate that went on to win the 2008 debates promised that 40% of his government was going to be made up of women. Two years into his election, only 17% of his government was made up of women. And the women's groups you know, developed a petition and marched to the seat of government, the castle where his office was, to demand that he keep to his promises. Late, a few months later, a few more appointments were made onto boards, state-owned boards, and other key positions. And therefore, beyond the platforms, beyond the debates, we still have the mechanism to hold them accountable because we disseminate widely you know, the answers and the promises that they give on these platforms. Well, this exchange is extremely important in the sense that you know, the issues that constitute the discussions or the various you know, sessions are very key to policy centers. And for us, we have for many years, you know, discuss the issue of improving the quality of our research. 
and this is an issue that has been at the discussion of many of our meetings because research really forms the foundation of our work and underpins the, the innovative processes that we have introduced into our economic and democratic landscape. Nevertheless, we are conscious of the need to continue to improve and enhance our research and therefore to have discussions at the various platforms and various fora you know, and how to enhance research quality for us is very key because there are key lessons that we take away from here. Apart from that, you know, the opportunity to network and to meet with other think tanks from three continents is very important in the sense that you know, it enables us to collaborate with other think tanks and to present you know, more credible and, you know, research. Indeed, it allows us to know what others are working on and you know, promotes collaboration and that for us is very important to learn lessons and best practices from other think tanks to and thereby enriching the work that we do. And so this is, I think for me, a very valuable experience that the exchange offers.